Uh, I want to illustrate the difference between uh, a leafy flowery selected hybrid. This is GL62 by GD4. The hybrid on this side is a fully traded grain hybrid. Uh, it's not necessarily one that would be used for dual purpose but it is a grain hybrid and all dual purpose varieties have to be firstly a grain hybrid. I want to talk about my old topic of flexibility and my selection for flexibility in terms of the stock. And I've always assumed that flexibility, the more flexibility, the less lignin that there was in the stock, and therefore the more digestible NDF that there would be with the stock. So this is, this is the kind of flex that we have with a leafy. And you notice, of course, that there's a lot more above the ear uh, dry matter in this and wet matter uh, than there is in the grain variety. And this is, this is the grain hybrid and it doesn't have that kind of flexi, flexiness to it at all. It's much stiffer sort of plant. And it's got very little above the ear, uh, which would be the more digestible part of the stalk. The rigidity below the ear is I can feel it very, very differently. This is much stiffer stock below the ear than this variety. This is the grain selected ear from this traded hybrid. And you'll notice that they are what is called a determinate size ear. There isn't very much of this ear that isn't filled. There's only a few initials uh, above it that are not filled. And it's smaller dimension considerably than the leafy. We're going to show them both in it here in a minute. If I crack them, you'll see that it's got fairly deep kernels on it. Um, and they are at Oh, they're just barely at 20% milk line. So <clears throat> this is certainly still a little bit immature for silage, but that gives you the idea of the size and the depth of the kernels on the grain variety. So this is the GD4 by GL62, and you can see that there's a considerably larger ear. You'll also notice that the amount that isn't filled at the end uh, this is a flexier type, so when it gets a space, it fills more of that uh, end of the ear and you get even higher grain content in the silage. And I will crack this one now so that you can see the... See, it has, it has uh, not as deep a kernel as the grain hybrid, but is uh, still fairly deep. And you'll notice that the kernels are large and flat in comparison. And this is what makes them so susceptible, part, this is partly what makes them so susceptible to breakage in the silage harvest stage. The test weight on this leafy, if taken to maturity, which it won't do because it'll be used for silage, but if taken to maturity, the test weight on this would be a 52, 53 pounds per bushel test weight. They, they are lighter test weight kernels and particularly because this is this is a, a flowery leafy. This one, uh, the fully traded grain hybrid, will probably have a bushel weight uh, 58 to 60 pounds. So it's a more dense product with the more vitreous seed in there and that starch is packed in more tightly and that's what gives it the weight in terms of what you call test weight. This is light. The reason we want this to be light is that we want these kernels to be breakable. We want them to break up in the silage harvest system and to be digestible with the acids in the silo and to be digestible with the cows chewing and with the rumen bacteria that these smaller broken up pieces of lighter starch material are more readily attacked, have more sites of digestion on them than the large harder pieces that would come from a grain hybrid that's used for silage.